hello guys uh today again i'm back with another video and in this video i'm gonna talk about apex legend there is soon going to be a huge update in apex and this update is most likely going to be there by may 9th and having gone through the entire blog i would like to share some quick updates about what are the major changes that we can expect to see they have brought world's edge map update and by that what this means there are few of the locations which we could see uh, we would see here quickly that uh, they have made changes in it in terms of looks and in terms of several buildings well uh, the first thing first they have uh, quoted here is the world's edge fragment east and west okay in this one they decided to make changes uh, with the monuments this being the hot drop zone like uh, if we play the world's edge map this is a place where most of the players decide to land and this time there's a huge change it's the goal to add some fresh uh, in, in terms of the map and experience and it does feel fresh in, in as per my aspect, uh, perspective so this is exactly how it is looking right now the fragment area they have uh, added some museums and several other stuff so it says the monument project has been brought by silva farmers so these are all fictionals but yeah it does looks great now i mean uh, the buildings have been reshaped changed everything and the area is somehow revamped again if you could see the lava this used to be different the way coming from that side uh this used to be completely open and now you this lava seems to be walkable like you can walk but of, of course there will be damages this is how it's going to look like from inside the museum most likely this one yeah this part let's have a relook back again uh i forgot that i have swiped this thing we can swipe it and have a relook to the older view so this is how it, it used to look like now they have built the entire place with some new changes this is how it looks like now we have got some concreted areas here sealed up and that's the museum of course also some other new uh, poi that has been changed in the map is the stacks the tower of sweet lords this is where uh, it, it is the poi on the southern edge it says yeah so this is how it used to look the older view so this time there is a complete revamp in the maps and this has been refilled now with the, this kind of looking building although this area remains same this part of the portion remains same there there, there there doesn't seem to be any changes so this whole section has been revamped again i'm right yeah yeah exactly so look at that the place used to be empty now we have got those platforms and supply bins another major thing which is uh here in this update is going to be in this update that is lava of updraft the updraft if you remember when you fall uh, uh the flying animation which you get to see with your legends that's the updraft so this thing has been removed now since because the lava is now walkable like it's not that very deep so you have got those platforms you can climb over there climb it here and then the zipline remains the same so yeah the updraft is gone this time cool and they say there is a harvester update so if you remember this place um i don't exactly remember the name i'm so bad with the map's name but if you remember where it is this used to look like this right if you if you completely uh, if you jump on this platform directly inside the pipe there was nothing nothing to hold you down there unless uh, the lava updraft is to push you back here right now this time what they have done is they have again revamped the place if you drop within through the pipe you you will be dropping here and you would take the zip line and the written rest of the things remain the same right so there are some changes with the uh, vaults as well additional vaults has been added north wall is nestled in a tunnel leading to skyhook it, it is to only uh see in the game once we are in the game only only then we will be able to find out that what are, how this change have occurred and how that that is going to be and in some of the places environmental changes has also been done uh, in order to give it more lively look moving up ahead this is this is the weapon mastery weapon mastery is the major thing which i have liked so far in, in this blog in terms of the update it says a uh, first long term in progression system outside of account level remember how we used to get the progressions in account level so uh, beside that this would be the other one which is going to be the major uh, change in the game so moving up ahead how it's going to work 
well the the day when it will be uh there will be the update we all will be starting from level one and progression levels by using them in any game modes so there is no restrictions as such that if you play only br the, le the levels will be uh boosted up no in every game mode whatever weapon you use we will be leveling up so these levels are account wide and do not reset with such seasons this will be reset with each season's changing that's great and having a weapon in hand dealing damage securing kills and fighting with style will generate weapon xp for that weapon so this somewhere 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 sounds similar with call of duty uh that's that's how weapon leveling up uh, works in call of duty as well you carry the weapon no matter how you shoot it or not yeah of course if you get a kill with the weapon then of course you will get higher xp so every level 20 a weapon specific trial will unlock for you to test your skill with that weapon and reward your you for the completion get your weapon to level 100 and finish all five trial to fully master that weapon and earn the final rewards each weapon mastery track will earn players weapon specific badges lifetime performance trackers legendary weapon mastery banner frames and guaranteed legendary skin for each weapon so uh, i don't know how far it is going to be great but uh, they do say that le leveling up till 100 we will get some cool items right the final rewards so this is not described what will be the final rewards be looking like so they say specific badges lifetime performance trackers and all of that stuff blah blah and this is how it is going to look like um the weapon uh, mastery challenges it's somewhere similar to call of duty i, I would say giving up uh, different challenges with um, different attachments and all that stuff and once it is done this uh, level 20 masteries and all that are done i mean th this is uh, how it is going to be looking like the trials trial one trial two three four five so total of trial five there would be we have to complete all that that's how it says and another major revamp they have done it is uh, firing range the firing range has been changed completely they have uh, put more uh, space into it adding up more of the things which we always wanted like the dummies uh, which would only move left to right this time they have added the dummies to be able to attack you in fact we have those settings to enable those movements dummy movements to shoot you back and uh, let you experience the live firing experience in the training uh, firing range itself so the complete overhauled layout looks like somehow like this it's it's the, just the beginning part it says we have expanded the space to give you more room to play from a recognized core to a new agility course dual pit has also been introduced this time and the point of interest seized town has also been brought up in the firing ranges isn't it amazing i mean we used to have only one third of the firing range experience which we should have earlier now they have actually beefed up several things adding up all these uh, items it, can, it clearly says new space is built from the ground up for skill expression and skill development amazing that sound great core core are a uh, recognized uh, reorganized weapon and loot layouts allows player to find they are looking for quickly and efficiently yeah so the loot uh, systematic has also been simulated that boxes allow you to grab your favorite loot from anywhere in the range i hope there would be dead boxes here again in the picture there is nowhere to be seen that boxes but yeah there is there is there it is so the simulated dead boxes of course so for new players they would at least be accustomed to learn now uh, unlike previously they would only have half of the things which happens in the game and they would get confused when they are in the actual actual fight isn't it so agility course designed for mobility slight jump climb and balance to harden your movement skills see this is how they have uh, changed if things dual pit it says designed for you to duke well, out with friends and finally settle things so th there has been specific places introduced to enhance your uh, 1v1 i guess yeah 1v1 purposes and here it is training grounds the cheer uh, the rear town allows you to practice fighting in a simulated combat experience yeah so this was what i always felt lacking about in the firing range of apex that we don't have a simulated combat experience because in this too i don't know how far it is going to be uh realistic as far as the combat experience is concerned but uh looks like this time it wouldn't upset our uh expectations it says custom customizable dummies dummies can now be configured to spawn move shoot at players in variety of ways Change the settings to find the experience that best serves your needs. Turn on full combat mode to have dummies come to life and aggressively attack you all over the firing range. So with this line, I feel that yes, 
they have added all the necessary things which would require to make you feel like a simulated combat experience hope so improved targets it says infinitely shootable targets will light up different colors to give you feedback for where you hit them hit markers in the customized range settings to learn shot patterns of course this now we have settings for almost half, more, more than more than half of the things in in the firing range uh, dynamic states now this can be uh, manually controlled it can be manually reset and all that stuff yes another one more major thing is they have added this evac tower as well now what does this evac tower does uh you remember the respawn beacon which you, we used to portably carry and uh, portably place this is how it is going to be like we will get evac towers in some of the supply bins like it says evac tower provides a new means for legends to traverse the dangerous apex games and gain a positional advantage over their adversaries so this new survival item expect to find this new survival item on the floor inside loot bins and in care packages yes exactly this is this is just similar like the uh, respawn beacon portable respawn beacon which we used to get i don't know if they have removed that or not i i don't i don't think so they have removed that it should be there so yeah so this is how this thing is also going to work similarly like that thing deploying an evac tower will send a ro rocket skyward eventually exploding into balloon high above the action once the anchor brings the zipline to ground level legends will be able to ride up and initiate a skydive redeploying to a new location exactly this is how it is going to look like i guess we have seen this kind of respawn balloons um, across the map that was static although a fixed we 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 didn't had any control of uh, you know placing it in our desired locations this time they have made it portable so uh, this is how it is going to look like and yeah it's just like a respawn beacon so it says uh, the evac tower has limited duration and will slowly take damage over time that means when you have deployed this if somebody sees it they can shoot down the redeployment balloon that's pretty sad you know some of the teammates may be stupid enough to just destroy your redeployment balloon enemies and allies can shoot the balloons to accelerate this process yeah destroying both the evac tower and your hopes of escaping exactly pay attention to where you deploy because your evac may be hotter than anticipated so yeah this one this another update the evac balloon seems really helpful unless you are spotted by your opponent where you are uh, placing the redeployment balloon because there's a high high chances that it will you will be ambushed when you are trying to redeploy yourself anyway uh, that's all for this update uh, there will be another rank uh, blog that i'm gonna read out and uh, maybe try to explain in simpler terms that's it uh, if you find this information helpful please drop a like on this video and uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe it thank you for watching